God has promised to restore all the years the caterpillar, cankerworm and locust have eaten. He is the God of restoration. Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul and he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He is ready to restore your marriage, health, business, academics, finance and every other area in which you need a complete restoration. Not only does he restore, but he also makes whole. He can make you whole in your health and all other strategic places you need his divine touch. The word of God says in Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto you, and I'll heal you of all your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeks after. He has promised you in his word that he is going to heal you of all wounds. Be they physical wounds, emotional wounds or financial wounds, I pray for you that your health is restored today in Jesus' name. So we will be praying for complete restoration of all that the devil and his agents have stolen from us and the wholeness of our spirit, souls and bodies. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing us and making us whole from all our infirmities. Thank you for restoring all the things that the enemy has stolen from us. In Jesus' name. With faith in your heart, receive these prayers and declaration I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family that the Lord will restore your health and heal all kinds of wounds you have been suffering from in Jesus' name. Right now, I leverage on the name of the Lord Jesus and I decree a complete restoration of your finance. There is no more labor loss for you. Joel 2.25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. According to God's word, I proclaim and say that the Lord is restoring your years and all wasted labor that did not yield tangible results are restored in Jesus name. The Lord will cause a complete restoration of your finance. You would no longer labor in vain. There is productivity and fruitfulness for you. Right now, there is a restoration of the anointing of God in your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is healing and restoring your soul of every emotional wound and pain in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I make a declaration that there is a complete restoration of your lost glory. You are revived in your spirit mind. I also pray that the Lord would turn your captivity around like those that dreamed. Your dry bones are receiving flesh and sinews in the name of Jesus. Right now, I pray that all your hopes that have been dashed and deferred in the past because of the failed promises are restored by the power in the name of Jesus. You will have every reason to live and enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your business that is not doing well as it should begins to flourish and prosper like the tree planted by the riverside in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you possess back all the good things the wicked ones have stolen from you by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. According to God's word, I pray for you that your joy that was stolen or tampered with by the wicked ones is restored. And I pray for you that the Lord would uphold your spirit. The scripture in Psalm 8 to 5 verse 4 says, Restore us, O God of our salvation, and put away our indignation towards us. Right now, I leverage on that word, and I pray for you that the Lord restores to you in all ramifications and have mercy upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. 
the Lord will bring you back to your rightful place and restore you in sevenfold. I pray that the Lord is helping you to build back broken bridges between you and people that have offended you in times past. For your shame, the Lord is giving you double honor. And for ashes, he is giving you beauty in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to lay gold as dust. And the Lord is speaking hope into all hopeless situations for your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. The resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead will fall upon your life right now and begin to bring back to life all things that are dead in your life. I decree that the anointing to recover all that the enemy has stolen from you falls upon you right now. The mercy of God will arise and push you your destiny to the right location and people in the name of Jesus. I command a sevenfold restoration of all the wonderful things the wicked ones have stolen from you and all the good things that are meant for you but in the possession of others are restored to you right away in Jesus name. I unseat all the evil ones that are sitting in your rightful position and are sitting on your promotion and prosperity in the name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy all good things that the Lord has specially prepared for you and your family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God has promised in his word in Psalm 23 verse 3 that he restores your soul and will lead you on the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You might be suffering from different kinds of illnesses that are ravaging your health. I need you to realize that the price of enjoying perfect health has been paid in full in Christ Jesus. He paid it in full over 2,000 years ago. By his stripes, you were healed. You are the one that has been healed, not the one that is trying to get healed. No matter what you might have lost in the past, there is a piece of good news for you. And the good news is that the Lord is restoring all that you have lost in the past. Joel 2, 25 to 26 say that the Lord will restore all the years the canker worm, caterpillar and palmer worm have eaten. And the word of God says in Jeremiah 32 verse 27, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? There is nothing too hard for God to do right now for you, irrespective of the number of years that you have wasted in the past. Isn't that encouraging? So let us pray together in faith. Do that in faith. Father, I thank you, Lord, for healing and restoring all that concerns me and my family. Lord Jesus, I come before you and I praise your name for making me whole and free from all forms of sickness. And I bless your name that you did it even 2,000 years ago. Father, your word says in Jeremiah 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring to you health and healing and I will heal them abundance of prosperity and security. The word of God is ever true and it never fails. I therefore proclaim that the Lord will bring health and healing to your body, soul and spirit in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring abundance of prosperity to me whether the evil ones like it or not in the mighty name of Jesus. 3 John 1 2 says, Beloved, I pray above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In the name of Jesus, I pray for myself that I will enjoy perfect health and I will be restored in all areas in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord will heal all members of my family that are broken hearted and will always bind their wounds. My heart will always be joyful and it will never be crushed in the name of Jesus. I say that the Lord will strengthen my mind, heart and body and heal me today. The word of God says in Isaiah 61 verse 7, 
that instead of shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so I decree you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. I stand on this word and I decree that all my shame will be turned to double honor and all disgrace that I have suffered in the past will turn around for my promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I say you will heal my land and turn all my captivity around. When my captivity is turned around, I'll be like them to dream in Jesus name. Father, your word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that the thoughts you have for me are thoughts of good and not of evil to give me an expected end. By the power embedded in God's word, I say that all the thoughts that God has for me will begin to come to fruition in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil plans of the enemy to make me languish in illness, sickness and disease are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I say that the Lord is restoring all the years I have lost in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, I decree that all the devil and his cohorts that have stolen from me and my family are restored in sevenfold. Oh Lord, I cry that you will help my unbelief, help me to trust you completely, that you will heal me in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the potency in God's word and I proclaim that the Lord is restoring my vision and my sense of perception that I have lost. Lord, I pray that you will increase my honor and comfort me once more in the name of Jesus. Exodus 23 verses 25 to 26 say, and you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in your land. The number of your days I will fulfill. I decree that the Lord will bless my bread and my water and will take sickness far away from me and my family in the name of Jesus. And I proclaim that I will not lack any good thing as the Lord will return all good things that I have lost in the past. Psalm 107 verse 19 says that God sent his word and the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction by reason of that word. I say that the Lord will send his word to all the members of my family that are sick and suffering from all forms of infirmities and the word of God will heal them from their sicknesses. I will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Your word says that the weak should say that they are strong right now i declare that in any area of my life that i am experiencing weakness i pray that your strength will be made manifest in all of my weaknesses in jesus name father in the name of jesus i decree over my life that affliction would never rise up the second time in my life all the plans of the evil ones in my life are thwarted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all my prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In the realm of the spirit, there exists a battle that rages on. A battle not fought with conventional weapons, but with the power of prayer and the might of faith. It is warfare unlike any other. For it is weighed against the forces of darkness that seek to hinder and destroy the plans and purposes that God has ordained for your life. As you embark on this journey of spiritual warfare, let your heart be filled with a resolute determination and unwavering trust in the Lord, for He is your shield and your strength. Isaiah 42 verse 2 says, God will go before you and will leave the mountains. I break the gates of brass and break in pieces the bars of iron. And verse 3 went on to say that God would give you the hidden riches stored in secret places so that you would know that he is God of Israel who calls you by name. God is about breaking the gates of your enemies and will give you their spoils. 
Almighty and merciful God, I humbly come before your presence, knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the God who fights for me, the one who goes before me in battle. I acknowledge that the enemy is strong and his gates are fortified, but I also know that you are the God of breakthrough, the one who gives me victory over every adversary in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you prepare me for the battle. As I clothe myself with the armor of your righteousness and gird me with the belt of fruit, Lord God, let my feet remain shot with the readiness of the gospel of peace. And as I take up the shield of faith to extinguish every fairy dart of the evil one, I place upon my head the helmet of salvation that I may have the mind of Christ and I hold on the sword of the spirit which is your word that I may declare your truth with boldness and authority in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of darkness that seeks to hinder and obstruct the plans and purposes that you have ordained for me. I break every chain and every stronghold that has been erected against me. I command every demonic force to flee from my presence and to submit to the authority of Christ. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is already condemned in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I pray for the strength and endurance to press on in this battle. When my heart grows weary and my faith falters, remind me of your promises. Remind me that you are my refuge and fortress, my God whom I trust. Teach me to be still and know that you are God and that you will fight for me. Grant me the wisdom to discern the strategies of the enemy and the discernment to hear your voice amidst the chaos of the battlefield in Jesus' name. As I confront the gates of the enemy, I pray for divine insight and understanding. Open my eyes to see the hidden schemes and tactics that the enemy employs. Give me the wisdom to discern his lies and discernment to recognize his disguises. Let the light of your truth expose every wickedness and illuminate the path that you have set before me in Jesus' name. I take authority over every demonic principality and power that has established a stronghold over the gates of the enemy. I declare that these gates shall not prevail against me, for greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. I command every demonic entity to be bound and cast out and I release the power of the Holy Ghost to demolish every barrier and tear down every stronghold in Jesus' name. Lord, as I possess the gates of the enemy, I pray for a spirit of boldness and courage. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be fearless in the face of opposition. Give me the strength to stand firm in the battle knowing that you are with me. Let my faith be unshakable and resolve on yielding as I press forward to claim the victory that is already won in Jesus' name. I surrender my will and my desires to you, O Lord. I submit myself wholly to your plan and purpose for my life. Help me to overcome the plans of wicked ones and I take possession of the spoils of the enemy in Jesus' name. O Heavenly Father, I come before you in humble reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty and might. I recognize that the battles I face are not merely against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil that seek to hinder your purpose in my life. Today, I stand at the gates of the enemy, ready to claim victory through the power of your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Lord, I ask that you equip me with the full armor of God, Guard my waist with the belt of truth, that I may discern deceit and walk in righteousness. Clothe me with the breastplate of righteousness, guarding my heart against the enemy's attack. Place under me and upon my feet the readiness of the gospel of peace, that I may walk in your ways and share your love with those around me. I take up the shield of faith, that I may extinguish every fiery dart aimed at my spirit. Place upon my head the helmet of salvation, protecting my mind and thoughts from the enemy's lies 
and finally place in my hand the sword of the spirit which is your word that i may wield it with wisdom and authority in jesus name as i stand before the gates of the enemy i declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper i cast down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god i proclaim that i'm more than a conqueror through him who loves me by the power of the holy spirit i bind every demonic force and render them powerless and ineffective in the name of jesus i command the gates of the enemy to crumble and fall for greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world in the name of jesus Oh precious Lord, I surrender my will to you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may walk in step with your divine guidance. Open my eyes to see the strategies of the enemy and grant me discernment to navigate through the snares and traps set before me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Grant me supernatural wisdom to overcome every obstacle and insight to uncover the hidden schemes of the enemy in Jesus name. I ask dear Lord for renewed strength and unwavering faith when doubt and weariness try to overtake me remind me of your promises and the victories you have already won on my behalf may I stand firm in the assurance that you are with me and no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus name father I intercede for those who are also standing at the gate of the enemy strengthen their resolve and empower them with your spirit release your angels to encamp around them and guard them against the forces of darkness let the power of your love flow through them dismantling strongholds and transforming lives may they too possess the gates of the enemy and advance your kingdom in the spiritual realms in Jesus name lord i surrender my desires and fears and my very being into your hands may your will be done in my life and the lives of my family in Jesus name amen the move of revival is strong much more than ever before you must join the moving train of regeneration sweeping across God's body this season the word of God says in Romans 12:11 that you should not be slothful in business but be fervent in spirit and serve the Lord you might have lost your hunger and love for prayer and study of the word but i am here to stir up that zeal that has died in your heart for God You need to take your spiritual effervescence very seriously this season because the Lord is about to do a new thing in your life. The word of God says in Psalm 42 verses 1 and 2, as the deer pants after the brook, so pants my soul after you, my God. My soul thirsts for the living God. For when shall I come and appear before God? Today we'll be praying for an awakening of our spiritual senses. Let us pray together in faith. It's in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for making us alive in you and giving us a heart that longs for you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting your love in our hearts. Your word says in Hosea 6 verse 2, that after 2 days the lord will revive us and in the third day he will raise us and we shall live in his sight i pray that you will revive your children and raise them in the name of jesus also in your word god in psalm 119 verse 88 which says quicken me after your love and kindness so shall i keep the testimony of thy mouth i pray for you and your family that the lord will quicken you all after his love and kindness and will help and make you keep the testimony of your youth in the name of jesus first corinthians chapter 16 verse 11 says seek the lord and his strength seek his face continually and so i declare over you that you will seek the lord and you will do that continually in the name of jesus The Lord will pour upon you and your family the spirit of grace and supplication according to Zechariah 10:12 and I quote and I will strengthen them in the Lord and they shall walk up and down in his name says the Lord end of quote I decree over you right now that the Lord will strengthen you 
and he will empower you to walk in his name in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says that Elijah was a man who had like passions as we do and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rain not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth their fruit Elijah never had the Holy Spirit within him but he prayed fervently now we have the Holy Spirit in us and we can pray earnestly more than he did and so right now I pray for you that you are empowered to pray fervently and earnestly like never before and as you do this you would get tremendous results in the mighty name of Jesus I also pray for you that you will be a burning light in this generation your light will never be extinguished by the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus you are strengthened to do exploit for God as the word of God says in Daniel 11 32 that they who know their God will be strong and do exploit I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord much more and you do kingdom exploit in the name of Jesus the fire of the Lord will refine you and purify you it will burn to ashes all the blockade that is preventing your heart from being revived in the name of Jesus the light of the Lord will shine and expose all the dark areas and places that are impeding revival in your life in the name of Jesus. All the dark corners will be exposed by the light of the Lord. From today, I decree that you will not be slothful in business. You will be fervent in spirit and you will serve the Lord diligently by the power of Jesus. You are full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and you have the judgment spirit and of might and by these you will rot exploits far above your comprehension. Your love for God will be kindled in the name of Jesus and I also pray for you that nothing and no one would take away from you the love of God. I pray that God will revive you and will allow the heavens open and the glory of the Lord will fall mightily upon you. The name of Jesus, I decree that it destroys everything that is quenching the fire of God in your life by the power in that name. All the things that are around you that are preventing you from being revived are exposed and taken away. I pray for you that the mercy of the Lord would take you back to your first love in the name of Jesus. The love of God will keep you and establish your heart. You are steadfast and movable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Nothing will discourage you from seeking the Lord in the name of Jesus. I decree that the capacity to study, meditate on the word of God and pray is increased. I pray for you that you will be revived afresh with God's spirit principles and values of righteousness, love and justice in the mighty name of Jesus. Loving God will be easy for you. You will no longer struggle to obey God's instructions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Peace is what God gives to you amid the storms and trials that are going on around you. The peace of God surpasses all understanding and most times it cannot be explained by the natural man. When things do not go as you want and your heart is troubled, know that you need the peace of God in your heart. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace and you have to call on His name to garrison your heart against all the distractions that would make you worried and anxious. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. One sure way of getting the peace of God is to keep your attention on God. Today we will be praying that you will keep on finding happiness and inner peace in God. The world would give you strife and troubles but God would give you peace which the world cannot give you. Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord Jesus for giving us peace and happiness in you. It's only in you we can find these. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. 
The word of God says in Psalm 29 11 that the Lord gives strength to his people and the Lord blesses his people with peace. According to the word of God, I pray that the Lord will give you strength and also bless you with peace and happiness in Jesus' name. 1 Peter 5 7 says that you should cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I pray for you that you will cast all your anxiety, problems, troubles to the Lord. And as you do this, you find inner peace and happiness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will always live at peace with everyone around you in the name of Jesus. And doing this will make you live peaceably in life that is void of unhappiness in the name of Jesus. Scripture says in Psalm 119 verse 165 that great peace of those who love the law of God and nothing can make them stumble. Right now, I pray for you that you will love the law of God and as you do this, you would never stumble in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree over you that the Lord was established peace for you and the Lord would grant you all your heart desires, which in turn give you happiness in Jesus' name. Matthew 11, 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The word of God never fails and it stands sure forever. And by it, I pray for members of your family that are worried and burdened. I pray that they find peace and inner joy in the name of Jesus. The Lord is beginning to turn around all things around for your good. Lines will begin to fall in pleasant places for you in the name of Jesus. From today, I proclaim over you that you will seek peace, and pursue it in the name of Jesus. According to John 16, 33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Since Jesus Christ has overcome the world on your behalf, by reason of this, you have overcome all the things that might have wanted to take away your peace of mind and joy in the name of Jesus. Anytime you lay down to sleep, you will do that with peace. You will not be scared of the devices of the wicked ones that are at work at night. By the power in the name of Jesus, I arrest all the powers of darkness that are assigned to steal your peace and happiness. I pray for you that throughout your days, you will flourish like the tree planted by the riverside and you will abound in peace till the moon be no more in the name of Jesus. You are greatly loved and you will not be fearful because the peace and joy of the Lord will garrison your heart from the arrows of fears. The enemies will shoot at you in the name of Jesus. As you proclaim the good news of the Lord Jesus, which brings peace to mankind, your feet are beautiful on the mountain of the Lord. I pray for you that the seed will be far from your heart. And as you plant peace for other people around you, you would find joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. Romans 5 1 says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the word of God, I pray for you that since you have been justified by faith, you will keep on having peace with God in the name of Jesus. God will fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may abound in hope in Him always. I decree over you that the Lord will replace your garment of mourning with a garment of joy and peace in the name of Jesus. And I cancel all the arrows of sorrow that are sent against you and your family. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in the name of Jesus. You will not be distracted by the storms, trials and temptations around you. In Jesus name. We thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. With joy in your heart, do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you richly.